Hey guys, no Flush Cheers here. In today's set review, we're going to look at Ninjago the Core Creative Ninja Box, which is set 71787. So let's get on with today's review. So, taking a look at the first vehicle here, this is the first vehicle is uh, Kai's um, car. Um, really cool build, of course. Um, it is very much worth what you get in the set. Remember, this is build your own thing, so all these pieces you can at the end when you've assembled all this, and if you don't like what you see or have, you can obviously build your own stuff. It does also come with that red box of what I mentioned. This Kai car that they make you make straight off the bat is really cool. Um, you can sit, obviously, your Fire Ninja um, in the seat at the back here like so, and he can obviously uh, just drive off. No cool other play features besides the two studs that already uh, have these new shooters pieces um, in there. And then you shoot off like that and press that. That is Kai's car. The other vehicle we get in the set is um, Nia's uh, little motorbike. Very similar to ones that have come in book sets where you make a Nia's uh, a motorbike you obviously stand her up here as so and then she can sort of like grab on well you can actually just have her i'm pretty sure you can have her just sit down in there as so if i move this arm forward yeah you can have her sit there and so as so and you can just uh, drive this up and down obviously you could turn this into a kai one if you wanted to obviously you have the pieces with this set and the rest of the set to make whatever you want so you get um in total uh, out of the small wheels a uh, six uh, sm uh four small wheels you get a total of six wheels in general and your big tie pieces at the back so of kai's so yeah Taking a look at like uh, these platform pieces um, that uh, come with the monastery sort of build, you have these like little training pads where obviously you can get your training minifigs and they can obviously um, just jump, 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 just sort of like they are training. And then you have like this sort of spinning thing where you have to either avoid or dodge Sort of just like how they did in the pilot season and how Eren and Sora had to avoid the obstacles in the start of the se series of Dragon's Rising. So yeah. You do get two of the side build sets, um, sort of huts here. Um, one is uh, obviously a forge uh, area you have inside the golden katana and the shurikens of ice in the bucket. Uh, obviously you have a symbol here as shown as so. Also up top we have a dragon symbol that came with the legacy sets. This other build is a tea shack where obviously you can have uh, your minifigs sit down, have a cup of tea or Master can or Lloyd can have them training. Um, interesting thing is on top of both of these sets, you are able, um, on top of these builds, sorry, you can obviously put the uh, weapon, weapon racks on top that you get as so, or you, ha and you also have this uh, small side build piece too. You also get another, I forgot to mention before, another training dummy as well, um, that has a uh, tan or goldish head in there too, which is really now cool. Now taking a look at the main sort of big build, um, we have Master Wu here, let me take him off. This is sort of like a little monastery, um, little hut place, I guess you can call it. Um, and this here has more spots where you can place either the rapid racks as so, or you can place minifigs. They are obviously the Minecraft pieces. It's a really nice build and it's very um, big for what you get. And I really just appreciate it. So let's have a look at the minifig, shall so we? So returning from the original Core Wave, we get Kai Nia and Master Wu, which is really cool. Taking a look at Kai, Nia, and Master Wu without their stuff on now. Master Wu still uses his um, legacy face print, uh, being a while. Those are the back torsos of our ninja. And let's have a look at Master Wu, all representing the same um, sort of design at the back. Uh, which is really nice. And yeah, um, pretty nice set. Um, 
I don't know what I prefer with Master Ruth. I prefer the uh, old face, the legacy face, or the um, new 2020 face or 2019 face. Let me know your thoughts. Um, let's take a look at the other minifigures. So also included in the set is a, ma a male and female apprentice and a bone warrior. Uh, the apprentices come with um, brown um, wooden swords uh, and the skull guy, um, the bone warrior guy, comes with this new mouth guard, which is really uh, cool uh, if it would focus. Um, with teeth and all that stuff, and that's what he looks like without all of that extra stuff on. And if you wanted to get a, these apprentices without buying the set, you can obviously go to the Lego store and uh, buy um, Aaron Sora and this new these new torso prints uh, and collect them all. Uh, that's how I got Aaron and Sora. And pretty much um, the, the leg print on the bottom is uh, the book version of Young Master Wu. That's the back of that torso print. So yeah. And these are all the spare parts you get in the set, which is really cool. If you guys enjoyed this review, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Peace.